So do, you, do you have tape? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Would you be able to tell the viewers like what what's the what's the stuff that basically you was using to take her system off, Ollie? Okay, so I basically sprayed it with a bit of lace release first. Um, that just helps basically uh, lift the system off of the head and leave the glue on on the head, which is ideal because if you leave it on the system, it just makes it. Um, Harder to clean, and ultimately, the more you got to clean it, the uh, the, the better, I guess it is. Yeah, it's definitely. It? The less you clean it, the longer it's gonna last, oh, and stuff I like see. that. Really, so it's oh, just good for maintenance. That's a good tip. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, while I've got a mud bath on, Ollie's in the middle of cleaning my hair system. Um, just so that you guys are aware. Thus the C22 solvent that we use on hair system to get rid of all the glue. If you leave it on for about 20, 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, what it does, it kind of bring all the glue out. So after that, when you actually wash hair system, it actually drains all the glue out. So I started losing my hair um, when I hit 22 and by the time I was 25 I lost the majority of my hair um, so I tried um, searching on Google to see um, what was the ways that I could get my hair back because I think what happened um, due to the loss of hair I lost a lot of my confidence and the life just wasn't the same for me so I revert back to Google um, to look for the ways to get my hair back. I tried different um, shampoos, you name it. I, I tried everything under the sun, basically. And um, to my surprise, it actually got worse rather than getting better. Then I looked for hair transplant. Um, and while I was looking for the hair transplant, I read about the side effects that you could have. And on Google I came across a place called Hair For All and I just thought, because it's a non-surgical system, I thought just give it a go. And so I had a meeting with Hair For All, um, I think about three years ago. Um, so yeah, I decided to go ahead with it and um, basically had my custom hair system made just for myself and first time I tried it it was it was just like hitting a jackpot absolutely amazing um, and then yeah since since then for the last three years I've been coming here get to see Phil as well um, and other new faces as well so all, all of them they like very welcoming welcome back everyone um, so Ollie's gonna take my mud back off now. Okay, brushing it back for me. Thank you. So yeah, like it, it it depends as well actually. Like so with me, like when when I went back with the hair system, there are loads of people ask me, Oh, did you grow a hair back or you had a transplant? <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, I just I just told them the truth. I was like, Look, I've got a hair system on and then they were asking oh where you got it from and stuff like that. Yeah. And I mentioned it to them about hair for all. Okay. But yeah, it's it's kinda it's kind of like I'm open to talk about it, but then it brings like that extra confidence in you, you know? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I guess obviously, yeah, like it is a big deal. Um, yeah. But I think, you know, be open about it and stuff like that. It's just po possibly just going to make you feel a little bit better about it. Yeah, absolutely. Know. Because the thing is, like at the end of the day, it's like if, if you think about you're going to be judged or stuff like that, 
then then obviously it's up to you until you're ready. But if if not, rather talk about it. I think there's a lot of praise in there, you know. That the people will come and oh. then they'll be like, oh my days, yeah. that's an amazing job. 100%. Yeah, I think that, yeah, you, know? you miss out on all that. And I think yeah. that's such a nice part of it. It's one of the best parts of it. Absolutely. Uh, people's reactions and stuff like that. Yeah. So, because when, when you actually go close to them, you actually say, oh, actually, you can touch my hair, have a look, yeah. can you tell the difference or yeah, not? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it, it, and it just brings the best out in them, you know? Yeah. And I think I think people are generally really interested. Um, you know, yeah. Obviously going to the barbers and stuff like that, obviously <clears throat> have your, your size and back down or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. I think a few people are a bit sort of maybe scared of it or whatever, yeah. walking in and stuff. Yeah, think, that's true. I've actually, believe it or not, Ollie, um, I have walked into a barber shop and <laughs> I've actually like said, like, I had to tell them because they couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> really? So, not honestly, they, they generally couldn't tell the difference. Well, and so I, ha- I had to tell them not to touch the top part. But I was open about it. Yeah. And they were just praising it. They were like, wow, it's, it's amazing. Yes. Yeah, and especially, cool. like, I think for some people it's better than having a transplant. Um, oh, 100%, yeah. A, no side effects. B, like, you're probably saving some money there as well, you know? God, yeah. Yeah, there's no guarantee with it all, though. That's the problem with this, like, you're guaranteed. Yeah. You're absolutely guaranteed. I did, I, I did go for hair transplant, but the thing is, like, within a year, I actually ended up losing more hair. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted something like a permanent sort of fix, but then at the same time... Like, it's at your own discretion, sort of thing. Yeah. Just for the viewers that are watching, um, what's what's the reason behind the marking? I'm assuming it's to see where the baseline is, I guess. Is it when we put the hair system back on, if I'm correct? Basically, it's just guidelines. Um, so, yeah, we basically use our guidelines just to make sure we can get it on perfectly. Right, so we're just popping on the glue. Obviously, we're using the tape in the back, the sides, so there's only a little bit of glue in the front. So, I just had my glue done at the front. Um, now, just bear in mind, depend, depending on um, how often you would replace your hair system or how often you would take it off and get it cleaned. It's about two to three layers, guess on it, and we usually go for two layers, but we use uh, with the individuals that basically sweat a lot, we tend to put another extra layer on top of it, so the glue kind of holds the system down quite firmly. Okay, ready? Yes. Yeah. 
Thank you. Cool, so now I'm just gonna tap it all down. Make sure that's nice and stuck. Look at it. How are you feeling? Amazing, amazing yeah. actually. And like for me, I think three years now I've gotten quite used to it. Definitely. And but every time like I have I have my hair system regroomed, it's just like get fireworks. You know, yeah, it's yeah. You just, it's like you just, a haircut. Yeah, it's so fresh. Exactly. Ready to go, take on the world. So yeah, looking from all the angles, especially look at the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. On a Real top nice on natural, it. yeah, of course. So yeah guys, that was the tutorial for Hair System. Make sure to like and subscribe below and we'll see you soon. And yeah, um, any questions feel free to ask. Ask the man. Leave a comment. <laughs>